I'm here today because I wanted to point out how uh, Congressman Merkel and uh, Paul Ryan's budget would drastically cut transportation funding, uh, specifically by as much as $50 billion every year. Now, we need to balance the budget, but we need to do so in the right way, and that's not on the backs of the middle class and small, bu small businesses. And those small businesses in particular, um, here in central New York, depend on a reliable infrastructure in order to make a living. Now, Congresswoman Burkle voted for the Ryan budget. First of all, it's, it, we want to make it clear that that doesn't balance the budget for 30 years, and that's an optimistic assumption. But it's also an assault on the future of central New York, because the cuts that would uh, be on infrastructure would drastically um, affect a middle-class family's ability uh, to make a living. Uh, not only did uh, Congresswoman Burkle vote for the Ryan budget and its massive cuts to transportation, but she also rejects high-speed rail and other kinds of transportation infrastructure investments that would spur economic growth in central New York. Specifically, she and one other congressman wrote a letter to Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood opposing efforts. This is the letter. So Congressman Burkle wrote a letter to Ray LaHood opposing any efforts to send $2.4 billion to upstate New York, specifically for high-speed rail. Now, uh, she uh, should. St now, when, when, when she sent this letter, she was just reiterating her support for the Paul Ryan radical vision of uh, completely cutting off any kind of transportation infrastructure kinds of funding, um, and instead supporting tax cuts again for some of the wealthiest Americans. We can't afford these kind of missed opportunities. Um, I do believe that we need high-speed rail in order to make sure that our economy continues to grow. Now, two centuries ago, there actually was a similar debate. It was on the Erie Canal. And back then, people said, just as uh, the Congresswoman Burkle argues in this letter, that it was a waste of money, you know, that, that, that there wasn't enough economic development in upstate New York to justify a big infrastructure project like the Erie Canal. But in fact, what happened was that in investment, and it was an investment, paid off many fold. That's the kind of uh, thing, uh, development, innovation that we'll be missing out on if we continue down this purple road. Uh, so, um, in short, or in, in conclusion, I do think we need to balance the budget, but it shouldn't be on the backs of central New York's economy. And if we continue to ignore our infrastructure needs, if we continue to reject and send away money for high-speed rail, that's exactly what we'll be doing.